It was after all of those experiences where Steve asked me, you know, wh what are your goals? And here was the thing. The problem with reading all this stuff and doing it is it installed, right, rather than giving me new empowering beliefs that helped me succeed, I feel like, I'm not saying it's true for everybody, but I certainly feel like when what happened was not only was I carrying around the limiting beliefs that I'd already established based on my life experiences, that I'm ugly, no women are interested in me, right? My interests were bore women. I was super into nerdy science stuff and things like that at, you know, at school. No woman wants to talk about that, right? And most importantly, women will be disgusted if I show sexual interest because, of course, the times that I'd ever expressed interest in a woman, they'd been disgusted with me. So I had those, and all Mystery Method did was reinforce them or replace them with even, even more limiting ones. So Mystery Method says, you know, looks don't matter. Just do the routines right, and it doesn't matter what you look like. And that might seem empowering to some people, but the way I was saying it was like, right, looks don't matter assumes I'm ugly. Otherwise, why would they be saying it? So it doesn't matter how ugly I am. If I just learn the routines right, then I'll get the success I'm looking for, right? says, well, my interest will bore women. Yeah, that's right. That's why you have to do DHV stories. You have to tell them stuff, a lot of which isn't even true, to impress them. And you have to run the routines and use, you know, be cocky funny. Basically, not say the stuff you're interested in. Do this stuff. And yes, definitely don't show sexual interest, right? All of indirect game is based on the idea that you never just express the fact that you're interested in the girl first. You have to wait. You have to do the right stuff first. You have to neg them. You have to... Um, withhold expressions of interest till later. So what happens is the fundamental mindset that I was coming from at that time was something along the lines of this, right? That there were these, I had to do, put in a lot of effort and a lot of work to learn, remember, and then implement techniques, routines, steps in order so I could do the right things to prove to the girl that I was worthy enough to have a relationship with her, that I was worthy enough for sex from her, right? And I don't know if any of you guys feel like it, at least at some point, or maybe still now, fundamentally, if you really look at it, are you coming from this kind of mindset? Are you coming from this kind of place, right? Because if you are, I'm going to argue it doesn't matter what technique you use and how well you implement it. If this is the place from, that you're coming from, none of it's going to work, and it's not going to get you the success that you're looking for.